Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, and thank you for being here for your weekend reading. We're going to be looking at what's coming up for you this weekend. Um, any sort of messages will be sort of more intuitive um, in this reading, and we'll see what comes up in the cards with the Rider Waite deck. Um, before I begin, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, I'd love to have you join my YouTube fam. Um, if anyone out there wants to become a channel member, you will get access to member-only content as well. So feel free to check that out. For private readings, please email me. Otherwise, let's go, let's go ahead and lay out some cards and see what's coming up this uh, weekend. Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or to the cross watchers dealing with an air sign. This could be helpful for you. So let's put them here. Okay, air signs. Tricky situation and love coming up. Okay, I'm seeing some old wounds or some pain that's being relived once again. Okay. This is some heavy energy we have here, air signs. So what's what's going on? Uh, I'm seeing a... I do feel like there is like fresh wounds, okay? Something's going on here. Like you are reliving a situation and it's popping back up. I feel like it's around your recent past because we've got the moon. Um, So I feel like sub subconsciously you're picking up some energies. It's like... I'm getting a sense that you're reliving something. I don't know what's reminding you of it, but it was a tough time. And it's coming back up here for you. So my guess is that there's potentially a, a situation that may be repeating itself here. The Wheel of Fortune, notice this big, this big, what looks like a clock. It's almost like time is being rewinded. Some of you are wishing you could maybe like rewind time and do things differently. Uh, and I feel like you're living with some regret. Nine of Swords, it keeps you up at night. Um, or it never used to, and now all of a sudden you may be finding yourself like reliving this, going, you know, maybe you're missing someone from your recent past, someone that you blocked or you ended things with, two of swords is here. So I feel like you've sort of blocked things out and things were going really well for a while and you thought you, you were coping and you could move forward in the situation and, you know, you were doing well, you were doing your own thing. You seem to have more consistency, you were gaining momentum and now all of a sudden, a lot of you air signs out there are feeling like you're going back to square one. So I feel like something is obviously popping up around you to make you feel this way, to make you feel um, like you're, you're reliving a sense of betrayal. I don't know if someone's going to bring it up again. There might be someone new. Those of you that are connecting with someone new this night, there could be a new connection here and, you know, you're sort of taking things slow. Some of you are sort of, you, you've been hurt, so you, you've got this guarded energy. You're still talking, though. I feel like there is an attraction with this person. But the Seven of Swords, some of you air signs are still hooking up with the ex while talking to this new person. Or it's like you're fantasizing about another person whilst you're with this new person. So, I don't know. It's almost like they're a good catch this night, this new connection. But I feel like... Part of you isn't sure, like you're sort of, you're going steady for a reason. I'm not getting a sense that you're crazy about them. Um, I definitely feel it's more based on attraction, but I still feel like with the Nine of Swords, something's going on here. It's like you're battling your own demons, but you're not letting this person know. Um, what I get is like, are you trying to hide it from this person? Or like if they've asked you about your recent past or whatever, you've been very blase about it you know you haven't really said much I feel like there's more to the story than you're letting on for this person uh, and I definitely feel like with the two of swords it's sort of like an energy like don't go there it's almost like a, 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 a topic of conversation you haven't had with this person maybe it's this new person because you don't want them you don't want them to to know what's sort of going on with you um let's see how this new person is feeling about you how do they perceive you um, if you're coming up in that energy. Okay, they're very attracted. Okay, Leo energy. So I feel like this person um, is starting to get a little bit possessive or jealous uh, over you. 
um, I feel like with the Six of Swords moving forward, this person wants to move forward with you. Again, their connection towards you, the way they're seeing you, is that they're very attracted. But the Leo energy is like they, they feel like they want to look after you, um, but they also feel like very proud to have you. So like, um, you know, you're this like hot little pocket rocket maybe, and then they sort of want to keep you on their arm because it makes them feel better about themselves. It could be more of a superficial connection. I get that this person may be superficial, you know, they're all about looks. And if they're super attracted to you, then they just sort of want to flaunt you uh, is what I'm getting. But they see you, if they're perceiving you as the queen of wands as well, um, they do feel like they know you've got options. So that's why they're probably not jumping into things too much. But I get a sense that they're starting to feel jealous about something. You're activating this kind of energy within them. So they're getting jealous. Nine of Wands are definitely getting protective. Six of Swords is movement forward. Um, there's two nines next to this person. So it makes me feel like this person has also maybe had a recent ending, this new connection. Uh, and they could be quite guarded. It's like... Especially if they have kids, if they have a family, if they've got an ex that they have like children or kids with or whatever. It's like they want to do what's best for their family, but they still want to have fun with you. It's like they haven't had so much fun with anyone apart from you in a very long time. And now that they find it, they're getting very comfortable, but they're also protective. Like, I feel like they can sense at times when someone else has your attention. And I don't know, it, it might not sit well with them. Let's see what the outcome is for this, this connection that you have with this, this person. Okay, outcome is the death and the eight of pentacles. Uh, there could be a breakup in the situation. It's Scorpio energy, so I feel like um, eventually the both of you are going to keep secrets um, from each other. Scorpio energy is hidden. Okay, it's there's going to be an emotional connection, but the death card could be that one of you end this connection because eight of pentacles reversed. One of you is not willing to fix things. I'm seeing someone not willing to work on things or fix things. Maybe you, it could be this other person, but the energy here is that they're not willing to put in the hard work. Uh, again, and they they might give up really quickly. There's definitely people out there, you know, that when things get tough, they're the first one out the door. They go to other people. Then they're, you know, they're not focused. They're not, they're not, they're like non-committal and they're so wishy-washy and they'll go to someone else and they'll think something's going to be better over there. And really, it's just, it's not a healthy thing. So for some of you, that ending could be a blessing in disguise, air signs. You know, we have to look at it um, from that vantage point as well. Let's look at how, how this person from your recent past might be feeling about you, how they're perceiving you. Okay, they still love you. Could be a Taurus or an Aries that's coming through in the cards. They're still attracted. They're doing some growth, I feel, or they, they're, they're seeing that you're growing and changing and they're really attracted to that. You might have changed up your look. You might have started a new job. You've sort of leveled up in some area of your life and words gotten back to them either through friends. I feel like mutual friends or people have told this person how well you're doing. And I feel like King of Pentacles is the is Venus energy, so it's love here. Um, and I feel like this Taurus or Aries, uh, I feel like they are showing me this person is seeing you as someone who is just really free. Um, I get that someone maybe doesn't want to lock you down again. I feel like you you do have history with this person, and you had you had something. I don't know, kids is coming up here. So again, you might have kids with this person or they're starting to think they want kids with you. Like they want to come back into your life maybe and have kids. But I feel with the King of Pentacles and the Magician, I feel like there's a stubbornness with the King of Pentacles. It doesn't really reach out. So I feel like this person is more like watching you and you can see him glancing over to these cards. So I feel like right now, this person might be checking up from you, uh, checking up on you from time to time might be looking at your social media they might ask your mutual friends here and there if you sort of know anyone um like no mutual friends with this person then i think what i'm seeing here is that uh, they're definitely checking up and they're asking about you because because they're curious right and if love still exists for them um then you know but i feel like with the magician you have to be cautious with this person because they might be sort of playing a few people right now. Like, I feel like they're happy being independent and on their own. They may get someone pregnant unexpectedly. Like, if they're not careful with the magician, 
because uh, like the magicians, the tricks to the manipulator. So I feel like they may be up to their old tricks. So I don't feel like some of you are missing out on much because this person hasn't really grown, I don't think. Um, I think you've grown more than them. I don't feel like they've done much growing, to be honest. Okay, let's see the outcome of this connection as things are right now. Two cards. Okay, King of Cups and the Moon. Some of you are going to revisit this connection. I feel like there might be, this is Pisces and Cancer energy, so there may be a destined Pisces or a Cancer that's coming back, uh, or your exes, or this, this person from the recent past, maybe under one of these signs. Um, if they're not, I feel like the King of Cups and the Moon are telling me that there might be someone here who is... I feel like with the Moon and the King of Cups, the outcome is, is that they still love you. Um, they may make an offer or a confession, an emotional one it might come in the form of a grand gesture like they might do something super duper big for you or like lavish you know um your birthday might be coming up and they'll get you all these gifts or like they'll randomly rock up on your doorstep with like the boom box remember in those hollywood movies where like it was just romance and then they split up and then like the guy would be down downstairs and the girl would come out the window and he'd have like the boom box and the I love you song on like it's so cliche but I feel like it, it, this person might be a bit of a cliche so they might do something like that because the king of cups is fueled by romantic energy I also feel like with the moon card they'll still be guarded so I feel like there is love that could come from this but the moon tells me they may be too anxious to make too much action especially if they're not seeing much from you so I feel like emotionally this person is super complicated. I feel like the outcome could be more emotional complication. And I feel like you've done that so much with them air signs. You've been back and forth with them. You know what they're like. You know their commitment style or lack thereof. Like you're so familiar with it. Uh, and you know, it's just going to be that same cycle. The moon is all about cycles. So I feel like the... The outcome card for you and this person is telling me that it would be the same cycle. It'd be the same song and dance you've done for the last few weeks, few months, few years, maybe even decades. Um, it's the same thing. You'll get back together. You'll have this emotional connection and then you might split or someone else comes into the picture. You know, they'll always turn to someone else. Maybe like it's, it's, it's whatever sort of kept on happening and was repetitive between you and them it's there's a strong likelihood that that would just happen again and again and, and you know it's exhausting but i feel like i feel like that's what's coming up in the cards um let's see the advice for you right now okay advice for you is to keep your options open with the world card um the world card is telling me there's things that you still have to experience before you maybe commit. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, you do have to be fair, but I don't, you know, the, the message here is like not to beg, not to plead anyone for, for love or for attention because, you know, that's that's not the right way of doing things. Uh, Six of Pentacles is Libra and Taurus energy, so I do feel like it's it's around Venus. Um, so I feel like keep your options in love. Um, don't commit to anything. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, be fair in terms of how you treat these people and how you treat yourself. Like there's a lot of self-love that has to come up here. Um, because I feel like you have to be fair to yourself in the situation. I feel like at times you've been unfair and then you've become nine of swords, three of swords, 10 of swords. And it's a really crappy place to be in and you don't want to be in that place anymore as signs uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. So uh, let's remember that. So I'm going to leave it there. Thank you again for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And until next time, bye for now.